Coach, uh, after last week, no turnovers forced. How much of an emphasis has that been this week to try to force more turnovers? Yeah, major emphasis, right? Again, we have to get back to our defense being great at being ball disruptors. So um, it's an emphasis each and every single week, but uh, we know how critical it is to the success of our team. Chris, can you just tell us the, the challenges that Justin Jefferson presents? I, I, I saw your practice day kind of also like breaking it down for some of the players. Sure. What, what, to, what to see from him? Yeah, no, he's a crafty wide receiver. Again, he's got really good hands, he's poised, um, and he's got really good speed, right? And I don't care what the time says, right? Um, you, you constantly see this guy getting behind defenders. Um, so you have to watch him. You definitely have to keep your eyes on him. You have to be consistent and disciplined and uh, put ourselves in proper position. So um, if uh, we get lackadaisical, right, again, allow our eyes to, uh, to, to fell us, and, and, and you'll be open. Chris, I'm sure you don't want to give a specific answer on Sunday, but what goes into deciding when you want Marshawn to shadow a guy and when you're going to keep the corners on, on two sides? Yeah, it's all about our best matchup for our team. So um, we take a look. We, we see how much of an offense is truly designed around one guy, and uh, like, Trust, trust this fact, like we have confidence in all of our defensive backs to go out there and cover whomever. But if it's best for us to match up Marshawn on a particular guy, then we will do so. Chris, how would you evaluate Marshawn's play just so far this season? Yeah, it's been consistent, right? Again, he's been, he's been in, in intense, the coverage intensity has, has been there. Uh, he hasn't been challenged very much. I think he's uh, only had the ball thrown at him seven times. And um, and that's because again he's 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 a quality player and he, and he, and he's and he's again being productive right so again the, the coverage intensity he's where he's supposed to be and the quarterbacks don't like throwing at him. The word consistency was kind of attached to him, and then in the last two years it seems like he's really kind of settled into finding some consistency. What, what do you attribute that to? Yeah, it's maturation. You know, like this this this, this guy is uh, again he he's, he's a still a young developing talent, right? And it's pretty remarkable to say that considering the amount of Pro Bowls that he's been to because he's, again, he's a quality player who's still getting better. How do you see him developing? It's, again, the discipline, the eye discipline, and the preparation. Now, I don't know whatever he's been before I got here, but everything that I've seen from him has been that. Chris, can you, you kind of explain how y'all wanted to use Debo last week? You only had like nine snaps, just, like, just getting him in like big clutch situations, or I just kind of do that? Well, it's just an integration process. Yeah. Again, we did not want to put the entirety of the game back on and and then really test the the, the endurance, right? So if, if the endurance wasn't going to be there, if he wasn't going to be fit enough to play the entire game, well, that's our responsibility. That's our fault for putting him in that situation. So we just wanted to make sure, again, that, that we integrated him in properly, give him a few reps here and there to make sure that he's coming back and all in one piece. So just so I'm sure it was a, like a shape issue, not like a worry about re-aggravating. No, it wasn't a re-aggravation issue. This is about, again, the, the, the amount of practice, right, and the amount of time missed. Coach, what's been your evaluation of Kirk uh, in this new offense for Minnesota? And some real talking points with your team. Yeah, it's um, – so the, the system, right, again, it's um, unique per se, right, because it, it, it all kind of generates from, you know, the, the, the Shanahan, Gruden type era going all the way back to uh, uh, the Washington. Uh, but this is what – Kirk, he has done this, right? So the time that he spent as Washington's quarterback in the Shanahan system, right, again, he, it's just, it's normal, right, guy? And that's the way that we see him. So, you know, intermediate passing game, um, they'll find a way to take their shots, and then obviously, again, utilizing some athleticism in, with, with boots and rollouts. Um, that's, that's been his career. Uh, he's thrived in it, and uh, we know we have to be up for the task. What's some of the challenges down the field if he plays? I don't know what but what's some of the challenges that I mean, fast, physical, really good contact balance, really good vision. Again, has been a quality player in this league for a long time. So um, one cut, right, stick his foot in the ground, explosive, and tough to bring down. So all 11, each and every single person on defense, on the field, have to get to the football. Again, got to get his cleats out the grass. Coach, on defense, have you taken any inspiration from so your training at rugby ground this weekend, the rugby tackling? Because... Not many missed tackles in rugby. You see a few more perhaps in American football. Have you analyzed the technique, trying to implement that? Too? Yeah, that's a really interesting question because you know, my, my, my background was uh, from Seattle. And uh, we actually utilized the, again, the quote unquote technique, which is the original technique taught with American football with eyes through the thighs, see what you hit, 
right? Again, wrap, squeeze, and roll, and or fish hook, right? Which again, which is part of the, the rugby term, if I can remember correctly. So uh, it's ironic you ask that because, um, yeah, like that, it's that that whole system of tackling is uh, something that we've carried along in, with our teaching and our coaching for a lot of years now. You just won the week. It's not getting better. Guys. Than that. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it.